Oh man, we're finally out of there. I can't wait to get into the open world and see what open world exploration is like. Huh. I wonder how long this is going to take. Uh. <sighs> Dear Journal, I can't remember when I last saw the sun. I finished my last bowl of ramen noodles and that was hours ago. How long have I been waiting? Is that... Is it... I'm old! I'm so old! Welcome back! <coughs> Welcome back to another episode of Spamming Grandmother with Dick Picks. I'm your host, B.R. Brainerd. Well, looks like the Prophet has already found us on the Spirit Facebook. So even when we're away from him, we can't get away from him. Alright, what have you got for us? As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Yeah, awakened is right. Even got my <clears throat> front tail back. How you doing, little Tajik? The voyage between worlds was both chaotic and violent. It deposited us in Tamria, but some distance apart, and quite unceremoniously upon our heads. I lost consciousness myself for a time. Wow. Well, assuming you don't bleed out, what is it you'd like me to do next? For the time being, your journey must continue without me. Venture outside. Explore this new place and learn what you can. Expose the agents of Moloch Bar. Wherever you find them, for their means are perfidious, and their scheming ever present. And when will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Is this weird to anyone else, or is it just me? I mean, leave aside the fact that he can pay us 76 gold, even though he's an astral projection. He gives us a ring that grants 7 health in one line, and an additional 4 health in a second row for a total of 11. I'd like to have been in the room when that design decision was made. 10 health? No, too small. We need to think big here, people. Uh, sir, how about 11 in two rolls? That's brilliant! Do it! Remember, the agents of Moloch Bar are everywhere. Tread carefully. Do you have any idea where I am? And why am I asking you? I must confess this place is unknown to me. You appear to have arrived on a tropical island at the site of a shipwreck. Aren't you supposed to be blind? How do you know about things and... Ah, oh, fuck it. What do you want me to do? Explore this place. Speak to the locals. I sense that the catmen of elsewhere are present. So you may be in their territory. When I've found a safe haven, I will contact you again. Until then, be safe. Okay, whatever, guy. Let's spend that skill point. Picking up Shadow Cloak because it's cool. Where did he go? That invisible. Oh, why, hello there. You know, you're exactly how Tajik likes his women. Passed out and completely unable to fight back. Nazamar prepared for such an event, but there are more injuries than expected. Sleep is best for them now. So the Prophet wakes up in the land of eternal spring, or something like that, and I end up in medieval Baghdad, surrounded by the sick and dying figures. Hey mister, you've got an arrow above your head. You should really get that checked out. We need your face to become familiar, so your presence won't be questioned. Come, stay by my side. Oh, well don't you move quickly. Aren't you going to tell me your name? This one saw you fall from thin air. Pop, drop, splash. Roz would have tried for a backflip, but under the circumstances, this one is most impressed. You know, if you did a backflip while teleporting and titled the video Kitty with Mohawk, Reddit would just explode in a burst of flames. There are many Dominion soldiers here, rattled by the shipwreck. They may think you are a spy. That could end... Uh, badly. Raz knows you are not a spy. He does not want your impressive arrival to go unrewarded. 
Huh, well, since you're giving out free advice, here's a pro tip. If you want people to trust you, don't wear rogue armor. First, a question. Where did you come from? I literally fought my way out of a Daedric Prince's Hell. Although I'm only level 2, so by RPG logic, it's probably going to be a little while before you're allowed to feel impressed. A Daedric Prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? The Starship Enterprise. Call me Captain Kirk. Yes, lie with confidence. A straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. <laughs> you think they'll buy that, huh? It is very good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? Why should I trust you, sir? You smell fishy, and that's making me hungry. You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Okay. Or, oh. come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. But seriously, guys, stay on the plot, Railroad. Woo-woo! Just a friendly Khajiit. Privileged to see someone drop from nowhere and land in sea. Shame you cannot do that at will. You could make piles of coins, sell tickets. Okay, so if I remember right, there are seven armor slots, in addition to, like, jewelry slots for necklaces and rings and weapon slots and so forth. And, of course, they decided to make one of those slots shoulders. So I think we're probably going to see a return to that linebacker look from World of Warcraft. Anyways, why are you helping me? Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. So by not being a soldier, I'm really useful in order to tell people that I've never met before that these other soldiers, who I've also never met before, are really friendly and are here to help. And you should believe me. Fuck off! See? She sounds convinced. I'm useful. Yep, this is how you end up joining the Eldmeri Dominion. What do you think about this, Commander Triangular Shoulder Pads? Glad you're up and about, Recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had a few survivors trickle in from that direction. Huh, British accent, blonde hair. Those goddamn Lannisters, they're everywhere! We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Yeah, you could go and tend to my dying colleagues, but I'd prefer it if you went after those fucking pirates instead. And because I don't own, well, anything, I agree. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Yes, go talk to the nerd about the local pirates. I'm sure he knows all about it. Eelsil is this way. It's almost as if during quality control testing, somebody said, but where is Eelsil? During that exact moment. Eelsil. This recruit wishes to speak with you. Oh yeah, this guy definitely looks like the guy to talk to about organized crime. Marvelous, isn't it? We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mage's Guild. I'm sorry, did you need something? Sell me some smack, jabroni. Yes, the Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. Wow, I really need to pee all of a sudden. Have I? I've never peed before. <laughs> Welcome to deep metaphysics with B.R. Brainerd. What do you mean? Pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. And why would the undead attack you? I'm pretty sure they weren't after brains. I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. So the mummy is coming here. Great. What does this have to do with the sea vipers? Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me? Yeah, okay. We should speak privately. 
before you depart. Let's meet by what the, the fuck? North of Cap. Where'd he go? Am I hearing voices again? Is he that good at stealth? Or was he never there to begin with? Oh no, there he is. You gotta stop Batmaning me, bro. I came here to make money, not to get trapped in some sort of existential crisis. There, you see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities here for people that fall from the sky. Is this a common occurrence? Because you sure make it sound like it's happened before. <laughs> it's a constant problem in Cyrodiil. Wizards are constantly dropping out of the sky. I've got this fantasy, right? A bunch of Imperial generals are sitting around a table, and they're talking about really, really important things, like, if we don't move the archers around to the flank, we'll never win the battle! And outside, there's just the constant sound of... Aah! Aah! You know, <laughs> the janitors in Cyrodiil have to walk around carrying squeegees to wipe off the wizards that keep running into the windows. <laughs> Ilseel is most impressed with his newest bubble, but the undead are a threat to all of Canarthi's roost. If you want to, you could search the Temple of the Morning Springs, determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, not conquerors. All right, anything else? Karanith told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarthi's roost. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? No, not really. You scout the coast, as the commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. And what are you going to do? Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there, after you've done what you decide to do. Coincidentally, also the location of the largest skooma den in all of Lannister land. Ah, the life of an NPC. Hello. Huh, Irondil. Hmm? I can't tell if that's an accidental ripoff or an Easter egg for Tolkien fans. You're in a sorry state, friend. Here, check out my mime impression. That should cheer you up. This is Canarthi's Roost, off the coast of southern Cyrodiil. We were supposed to make a more tactical landing, but that hurricane took us all by surprise. At least we made it here alive. Not all of us were so lucky. Oh, but she's not really in a box. And that's it. That's really all your brain has to do during about an hour-long mime performance. It's amazing what passes for entertainment. Hey, wait a minute. 